Hey everybody, Colnar here, and welcome to the finale of NCAA Football 2005. In the last episode, we defeated our rival Michigan 93-6, clinching our spot in the national championship and winning the Big Ten championship outright. And now, it is time for the rematch that probably a lot of people have been wanting to see, and it's the rematch of Ohio State and Texas in the FedEx Orange Bowl National Championship game. Now, if you don't recall the last time we played Texas in an NCAA football video game, we uh, beat Texas um, 31 to 29 in NCAA football 2003 in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl National Championship game. And now we have we are now going to play Texas again this time in the FedEx Orange Bowl. And this time once again for the National Championship. And oh boy, is this going to be exciting. So let's start the game. We are 11-0 overall, 8-0 in the Big Ten. Texas is 12-0, 9-0 in the Big 12. And here's a fun fact. Next season, in the 2005 season, we actually play Texas. And then, and also again in the 2006 season against Texas. So it's a home-and-home -home series against Texas when we play NCAA football 2006 and 2007. And yes, I will be playing those games, just don't know when. And here it is, the National Championship game. And it's the game of the week. Of course. And here are the Texas Longhorns preparing to come out. And here come the Longhorns. And here come the Longhorns, the number one team in the country. And there's Hook'em, mascot of Texas, and here come the Buckeyes, champions of the Big Ten. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? You're right, and that's why I think individual performances will be the difference. Ohio State has been a little suspect at times this year against the run, and the challenge for them will be to slow down this running attack and this running back. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't think they have the personnel to do it. I can tell you one thing I know about this game. Texas has an offensive line that is sensational. And let me tell you, these guys are going to have... And there's Vince Young, quarterback of the Texas Longhorns, giving a final speech for his team as we get ready for the Orange Bowl. And since we're designated as the away team, we get to select either heads or tails. We'll go with tails. And we have won the toss. I'm going to elect to receive this time. Because I want to score as quick as possible. So here we go. It's time for the rematch of Texas Ohio State. And it's a flag on the play. Let's see what it's all about. Legal procedure on the kicking team. That brings it to the 35 yard line. Nice. So yeah, since they kicked the ball out of bounds, it's going to be our ball at the 35-yard line. We're going to run... Oh, I should have... I need to get Troy Smith in the game. Hold on. Need to check out my depth chart. There we go. Resume game. I at least should get Justin Zwick a play. And nothing I can do there. That's loss of yards. We're going with Flood this time here. Incomplete. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. Quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Buckeye. And this is a neutral side game, so obviously there's nothing... I can do to help me win this. He goes down. And 
So obviously the stadium pulse is going to be at a neutral level. And it's a good thing I got that ball to um, Bam Childress for the first down. So I was getting a little scary. Oh yeah, San Antonio Holmes with that catch. The Heisman Trophy winner is showing that he is that guy. Uh, yeah, let's go for the goal line formation, halfback dive. Oh, get it. Oh, almost. Okay, let's hurry up. Hurry up to line. Hurry up to line. Touchdown, Ohio State. Brandon Joe walks it in. So they give it to the fullback, and he finds his way into the end zone from a few yards out. Why not give it to this guy inside the five? He looks like a big old dump truck carrying a football out there. So we have struck first against Texas. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And Mike Nugent just kicks the heck out of that ball, and Texas will take a knee in the end zone. All right. Let's see how the Mad Robber works for Texas here. And there's quarterback Vince Young. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Intercepted Nate Saley, the Jim Thorpe Award winner. Defenders in the country. No question. Kirk, how'd you like to face this guy on the field? I wouldn't, but when a guy is And the Buckeyes have good field position for this next drive here. The Buckeyes come out the shotgun. Rolling Gonna throw it to San Antonio Holmes. It's tipped and incomplete. Texas had a hand on it, but luckily it was not intercepted. Second and ten for the Buckeyes. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number 10 is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw. And it's picked off. And I swear, I thought I saw San Antonio Holmes getting held by that guy who picked it off. That is just... the And the refs missing that, that was terrible. I bet you that with that play, that's going to cost us probably the national championship on that play because the ref missed that pass interference call. San Antonio Holmes was getting held. He was getting held hard. And now Texas has the ball again. And nowhere to go for Texas. Defense does a good job of getting penetration, and they were able to wrap him up for a loss. Just got back to the original line of scrimmage. It's now second and ten. The Longhorn set up in the gun. He drops back. And almost got sacked for a safety, but he was able to get the ball out. AJ Hawk almost got to Vince Young. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the seven. The Longhorn come out in the shotgun. Here comes A.J. Hawk, and it's a safety! And A.J. Hawk has broke the career sacks record that was held by Arizona State's guy, by a guy from Arizona State. And now, Texas is going to have to punt the ball away for that safety, and now we lead 9-0. And San Antonio Holmes, pretty good return there. Gets up to the 33, and now it's time for Ohio State to come back out on offense. After that big safety play by A.J. Hawk. Troy Smith takes the snap. Throwing to Santonio Holmes. And he's caught it! He caught it! And Brutus loved that play. And we're going to hurry up to the line with the hurry up offense. Trying to get Texas all unorganized here. 
and they're without a defensive tackle so obviously some guy on Texas defensive line is going to have to step up if they want to get to Ohio State second and ten for Ohio State gonna throw it to Roy Hall this time it's incomplete just overshot it This time we're going to go deep posts. And Troy Smith has already thrown for 100 yards and one interception, but no touchdowns. Going to throw it to Santonio Holmes. He caught it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Let's take a look at that replay again. He was trying to look for Santonio. He was trying to get open, and he caught it. What a play. Look at that throw. That was an amazing throw. You know what? Let's get a little crazy. Let's go for two. You're probably thinking, Cone, just take the field goal. Well, I'm going to be up 17. Sure and we are up 17. Wow. I go with a gutsy call and it paid off. It's now 17-0 Texas. Jeez, I thought this game was going to be a little bit, you know, tough. But apparently it's not. And this is on varsity difficulty. The same difficulty I played Texas in in NCAA football 2003. So obviously, Texas is fumbling. Oh man, this is exciting. This is a very exciting football game. And AJ Hawk, here he comes. But Vince Young's able to get the football away and it's incomplete. Nate Saley helps out on that defensive pass coverage. And now it's second and ten here for Texas. And Mike D'Andrea just met the running back. And that's a tackle for a loss. Third and twelve here for Texas. And look at that. 119 yard season average for yards allowed. That's why Ohio State's defense is number one in the country. Because of that man right there, A.J. Hawk. He is that guy. I talked to one quarterback that played against this kid, and he told me that before he snapped the ball, he had to always know where this guy was lined up. He gets it away. Number four, fields it at the 50. Oh yeah, that's a great return. Great return. Look at him go. Santonio Holmes with a big punt return inside the 25, giving us great field position for this new drive. Going to throw to Santonio Holmes. It's incomplete. Overthrew it. Uh, touchdown, San Antonio Holmes! What a pass from Troy Smith to San Antonio Holmes. And now Mike Nugent to attempt the extra point. And Mike Nugent kicks it, and it's good. And look at Brutus. He is happy about this. I am too. So now we have a 24-point lead. We, we now lead by four scores. And it's amazing. And that's going to be a touchback. Shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. And wow, that was a bad decision by Vince Young. He meant Marcus Green with the sack. Second and 13 for Texas. They were having none of that, my friend. Pitches it. 
And it's not a good idea because Anthony Schlegel was there along with Bobby Carpenter to help. And it's a loss of seven again. Well, well, not really again, but a loss of seven. Another loss again. Third and 20 for Texas. I'll pick that off. Ah, tipped it right into his hands. Man, Dustin Fox had a chance to intercept it, but he tipped it right into Texas's hands. And that's a first down for Texas. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 43. The Longhorn. Line up with three wide. And they hit him in the back. And that's a tackle for a loss. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz. And guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He's under pressure. They'll make the sack. And sacked by Mike D'Andrea. Hey, that protection has got to get better. Because what a sack. Quarterback to get smacked like that. So another third down upcoming for the Also, I want to give you a little fun fact, guys. If I win this national championship game, this will be my 50th win in the NCAA football Let's Plays I've been doing. So, right now I'm at 49 wins. If I win here today, it'll be win number 50. And I will be 50 and 1 in the series for NTA football video games. Seriously. 50 and 1. That, that would be pretty insane. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. High formation here. They go with the option. And Vince Young just got destroyed by Quinn Pitcock. And I think we're gonna take this into the into the second quarter, so Yep, that's the end of the first. It's been pretty lopsided here in the first quarter. The score is Ohio State 24, Texas nothing. And we lead 24 to 0. Obviously, we are coming out swinging against Texas because we remember, we remember NCAA football 2003 and how they tried to win against us. And we, we vaguely remember, especially AJ Hawk. Ah, oh, crap. A little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and ten. Ball on the twenty. So another first and ten for Texas here. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. I'll pick it off. Incomplete. All right. We're good. Just keep rushing the quarterback. The blitz always works. Well, it sometimes works. It works when you want it to work. And it's a fake. It's a fake handoff to the quarterback, and uh, didn't do much on that one. Just got back to the original line of scrimmage. Texas trying to do some trickery here, but it did not work. So it's now third and ten for Texas. Incomplete. And Jim Trestle likes it, and Texas will now have to go kick a field goal. 37 yard field goal attempt. And I'm shocked that uh, Mike Nugent did not get the Lou Groza place kicker award or kicker award, whatever. And it's good for Texas. They are now down by 21. Texas is ready to kick it away. Number four and number 26 back to return. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. And not a pretty good kick for Texas's kicker as for the kickoff as Ashton Ubody gets uh, at least over to the 20 yard line. Well, at least over the 20 yard line. And now it's time for the Ohio State offense with Troy Smith at quarterback to do some awesome magic. And he got sacked. All right, well, when you get sacked, you hurry up to the line. They line up in the 
shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. He's gonna throw it to Santonio Holmes. It's tipped. Incomplete. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 16 yard line. Texas has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Gonna throw it to Santonio Holmes again. He's caught it this time. What a catch by Santonio Holmes. And now we're trying to, trying to hurry up to the line here. Trying to get Texas unorganized. Oh, this is a nice pass. Oh. I was like, that's a nice pass. But oh, no. I don't get why Texas is wearing these hook em, these hook em hand helmet things or whatever they're called. That would just look silly. Oh, Santonio had the football and it dropped. It was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. One step away from Well, we're three for three on third down conversions. Can we make it four for four? Like the Wendy's four for four deal that they used to have. It's caught! Almost into the end zone for a touchdown. But you know what we must do, folks. Brandon Joe, it's time for his time to shine here. Touchdown, Brandon Joe. The fullback out of Westerville South High School. And now Ohio State will attempt this extra point. And Texas will be now down by 28 points. 28. What a shock. It's good. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Ohio State ready to kick this one off. Number three and number five set to return. Kicks it deep. And they can forget about returning this one. And it's a touchback. All right. Field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll start this drive at the 20. Now this is going to be a true test here. Because if you look at the score, it's 31-3. If I manage to get 19 points... And intercepted by E.J. Underwood! Oh my goodness, as I was talking about points! We got the football back again! Oh boy! I'm so happy! Look at that! What a pick! What a pick! So as I was saying, if we get like 19 points... We would, have, we would have scored another 50 point plus game in this game. And we have gone 12 games in a row scoring 50 plus points or more. That would be an insane stat to have, folks. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. So it's second and ten. All right, we are back on second and ten after in completing that pass, and Roy Hall. Oh, he almost had the football. All right, well, we're four for four. Can we be five for five? Well, it's probably not going to happen. I mean, it's fun to go five for five, but it's not going to happen. See, told you guys, not going to happen. Well, we had a pretty good streak, but now it's time to go for a field goal. This is a 43-yard field goal to bring our lead up to 31. And to make it 34-3. Uh, and Mike Nugent kicks that field goal. And it is good. And Brutus is happy. Look at that guy go. And right now we are two for two on the red zone, which is pretty good. Hundred percent of the red zone, and touchback for Texas. And now it's first and ten for Texas at their own twenty. Oh, it's caught. Oh, boy. Someone get him. Please get him. 
Please get him. And EJ Underwood saves a touchdown. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And he ran it to put Obviously the Texas fans are happy about that. The fans are quiet, but Brad Nessler can't blame them. Here's the option left. Yeah. <coughs> and that's a loss. AJ, please stop celebrating excessively. We are going to get penalized. And you're going to give Texas some good field position to start this, start their next drive or whatever. Frick. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Drops back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Wow. A diving catch. And he still didn't get a first down. What a shock. Oh, there's 73% in the red zone. We're much, we have a much higher red zone percentage than them. That's pretty good. And they got the first down. And Texas is going to call a timeout out of nowhere. Uh, let's get the linebackers some boost. So they can charge at Vince Young and sack him again. And the fans have quieted down. They'll throw on first down. Over the and touchdown, Texas. Well, good job for you, Texas. You score against us. But you're still down by, like, 24 points, so... Nah. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. And he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac Drive Summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Here's the kick. Number 26 fields it at the 11. Hessian Ubody got a pretty good return there. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. All right, first and ten for the Buckeyes. State comes out of the shotgun, rolls to the left. He's looking deep down the left side. Incomplete oh, shoot. And he it. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. Texas has all their DBs in. For the oh, Roy Hall, he is wide open, wide open. He's knocked out of bounds. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. Man, what a catch by Roy Hall. Got hit as I threw, and it's touchdown! Career receiving touchdowns broken. Broke the national record. Santonio San Holmes. You know what? Let's go for two. Let's go crazy. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. And no good. So we lead by 30. And we just need 10 points to get an, another 50 point game. And they can forget about returning this one. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll set up shot at the 20 yard line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier. And sacked by AJ Hawk. Bro's gotta calm it down with the celebrations, man. Gonna get us penalized. Make us look like jokes. And the fans have quieted down. Throws off his back foot. Caught, but nowhere to go. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. Well, when you try to 
get to the quarterback with the blitz, you better have some talented corners because they could end up on an island out there all alone. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Under pressure, he throws it. Pick it. And it's picked off by EJ Underwood. And EJ Underwood, he could take this all the way back, but nope. Gets stopped behind the 30. And man, EJ Underwood. He's having a game. His second interception of the day. And Ohio State's picked off Vince Young three times already. And tackled him for a safety, which is beautiful. Cut! Touchdown, San Antonio Holmes! Right before the half ends, we get another touchdown. And we're going to go for two here. And the two-point conversion failed again. So we just need four points to get 50. And it is possible. So, yeah. Sends it sailing downfield, and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure the coaches talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. Man, Texas. What happened, man? You, like, Texas, they were really good opponents in the Fiesta Bowl in NCAA Football 2003, but now in NCAA Football 2005, they're like, we lost our all. We lost all of our firing power. We just gave up. Um, are you gonna hike the football? Well, it seems they're trying to go. Okay. I didn't know if they want to get a delay of game or whatever what they were doing, but yeah. You guys are getting the football in the second half. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. And there we go. That's the end of the first half. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our score, Ohio State 46, Texas 10. And we lead Texas 46 to 10 at halftime. Ohio State got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. And it's going to be a touchback. All righty. For this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. And the fans have quieted down. He drops back. Oh, pick it off. Aw. Well, we tried. Batted down at the line, and he had some juice on that one, Kirk. Well, this guy throws the ball hard, but he also has a tendency of throwing it low. So he's got to practice. Ben's Young, 32 touchdowns, 2,465 yards. This place isn't exactly right. Pretty good, but not as good as Troy Smith. The option left. And nowhere to go for Vince Young. Go there on the quarterback keeper. It's third down and ten. Ball on the twenty-yard line. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Back to pass. Under heavy pressure. And they try to set up a screen. Wow, that play did not work at all. That's a loss. And Texas is going to have to punt. Texas, ready to put this one away. Punts the ball away. Number four fields at the 46. And couldn't do much on that return. So let's go zigs out. Excellent field position to start the drive. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. He's going left. Oh, caught by Santonio Holmes. And we're gonna hurry up to the line, get Texas all unorganized. And that's a touchdown, Ohio State. 
And we now have gotten 12 in a row 50 plus point games this season in NCAA football 2005. Wow. Just wow. And the fans have quieted down. Went for two and it didn't work. I'll tell you the truth, I don't know what they're doing out there. You got the game well in hand. They're just trying to pad their stats and run up the score. I don't agree with it at all. Ohio State to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number three. Fields it in the end zone. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Drops back to pass. He's under pressure. Tipped. Pick it off again. Oh. Almost. Nice job getting a hand on We that. almost picked it off again. It would have been easy points too. By the defense. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. He drops back. Throws a lot. And oh, what? That was a lateral. That should have been a fumble, not a freaking pass. Boo! These refs suck. Who are they from? Like, which conference are they from? The SEC? That's what I'm guessing. Back to pass. He's in trouble. Wants to throw outside. Nope. He's short. He's short. Short. Yeah. I knew he was short. He was short. Short, 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 short. And I knew it. I knew it. Oh, wow. There's just a big hole for San Antonio Holmes. A big hole for San Antonio Holmes. And he's knocked out of bounds. Pretty gay. That was a pretty great return. All right, so now it is time for another pass play. Oh, he is open. Open, and that's a touchdown. And obviously, it's now time to go for two to make it sixty to ten. But we all know Texas is probably going to stop me, right? Oh, they didn't stop me that time. It is now 60 to 10 against Texas. My goodness, guys. Like, seriously. The only opponent I lost to in any of the NCAA football games was Florida, and that was an SEC team. <coughs> and. And Texas is actually higher in this game in NCAA football 2005 than Ohio State, so... <coughs> I don't know why, but... I think the game just likes me. But who knows? Oh, wow. Really? Nate, get him. Thank you. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. They'll run the option. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Good play by the defense to break up the... Okay, Bobby, we don't need to celebrate. We don't want to give him another 15 so yards for crap. All on the 48-yard line. And the fans have quieted down. Oh, it's a fumble! And it's recovered by Texas. They get that one back. One thing about the option plays. Okay, well, can you guys fumble it again, please? Please? I want the football again. So, can you guys fumble it again, please? Pick it off? Ah, oh, crap. Well, guys, we had a chance to, you know, stop him on third down. We just gave up. As a coach, you gotta appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First and ten. Ball in the 23. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. He spins around. Brought down. So the halfback scampers for six on the toss. 
Second and four coming up here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Option to the right. And tackled. That's a two-yard loss. So another third down upcoming for the offense. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Crucial third down here, and of course they get the third down conversion. Why? Convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. And the fans have quieted down. Throws back incomplete. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And they got some pressure on him that time. Yeah, I guess some um, uh, Vince Young didn't know we also had a all-out blitz thing. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. They're running the option. Mm, they just got back to the original line of scrimmage. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Back to pass. Pick it. Almost. Almost picked off. That might be the biggest drop of the game so far. Yeah, he did a heck of a job in coverage. He just didn't finish the playoff. That's why I guess he's not a wide receiver. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. It's up. And he got it. And here's the All right, well, they got the field goal. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number four takes it to 15. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession. On their way All to right, the let's run a play with Lydell Ross here. Halfback read. They'll, They'll start this drive at the 30. First and, 10. and the fans have quieted down. Okay, that didn't work. They'll drop him for a loss. Slow developing play, and it got them nowhere. Uh, oh, excuse me. In the middle. Second and 13. Ball on their own 27. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Yeah, let's waste some of this clock down. Just because I know I'm already I've already won the national championship. Because come on. There's no way Texas can come back from that much down. It's incomplete. All right. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 27. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Oh, Roy Hall is open. And he caught it. He got it. And they make the stop. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. And then just gonna run some more of this clock down. <laughs> They'll throw on first down. He rolls left. Throws into San Antonio Holmes. And it's picked off. Wow. Bounces off people's hands and picked off again. How many times are we going to see this crap? They'll set up shot at the 13 yard line. And the fans have quieted down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Spin move. And they hit him in the back. Nice. And they 
they stop him on the option. Well, that's a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield. Wow, Vince Young has minus 106 rushing yards. Ouch. Our score through three, Ohio State 60, Texas 13. We're just one quarter away from being crowned national champions of 2004. Oh man, it is going to be awesome. And now Texas is going to have to punt the ball away. And man, the Orange Bowl was filled with a lot of fans here. Now it's looking empty. Mainly, mainly because Ohio State's winning. Number four fields at the 42. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Uh, let's go deep attack this time. And they'll look to capitalize. I know it's not a shotgun play, but oh well. And the fans have quieted down. Back to pass. Looking. He's looking for his man. Wide open. And they tackle him. Now I'm just going to do some stretches and basically just run down the clock because, um... Yeah, we can just win the national championship by like that much. Yeah. Touchdown. I win. Well, not yet. But I will win. Can this guy find the end zone or what? Oh no, I don't want to go Hail Mary, I want to go for two. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. And we got the two. Sweet. Just over four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The score is Ohio State 68, Texas 13. We now lead by 55 points. And obviously, Texas is going to lose. And Texas will have to go back to the drawing board if they want to compete against us next season in NCAA Football 2006. Don't know when that LP is going to start, but who knows? And the blitz might have caused that one. Uh, the defense took a chance here. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. Second, Second down and 12. Ball, ball on their own 18. Yard. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Drops back to pass. He's gobbled up in the back. And A.J. Hawks sacks Vince Young once again. For the school's all-time sack list. What an accomplishment by one of the best players they've ever had at this school. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 13 yard I think it's time for Mac Brown to just wave the white flag. He's lost. He lets it go deep down the middle. Okay, I guess he's not. And they convert the third down. Somehow he, they made that crazy ass pass. As a coach, you got appreciate it when you Don't know why, but they did. Like these kids are doing right now. First and ten. Ball on the 47. And the fans have quieted down. Back to pass. They'll wrestle and Simon Fraser sacks him for a loss. A defense five sacks on the day. Second and long coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. On the ground, left side. And they hit him in the backfield. Great play by the big linebacker. I'll tell you. Okay, Mike D'Andrea, we do not need to excessively celebrate again. Third down facing the offense, and this one is third and long. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass under heavy pressure. Incomplete. Great defensive call. The thing about this offense is it's an offense based on timing. Here you can see their timing was knocked off by the blitz, and the result was an incomplete pass. That's how you got to play it. Number 97 gets it off. 
Number four takes it at the 21. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able And the Texas fans are starting to leave because they know they've lost the national championship. Oh yeah, let's get Troy Smith run the football. Bring him down. They pick up a good chunk of yardage there as the quarterback sneak works to perfection. Well, they were hoping for just a couple of yards, but the quarterback was still on his feet when he got past the defensive line. Nice looking run by the quarterback. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Yeah, let the fans be quiet. I mean, all the Ohio State fans know they're going to win. So, obviously, it's, they can start actually, you know, celebrating, even though they're being a little bit quiet. But oh well. Oh, Troy Smith with the. Wow, with the spin moves and stuff. Let's do quarterback sweep again. Man, who knew quarterback sweep would actually work? Interesting. Now, it's crazy that there are still some Texas fans here. Maybe that's why it's so quiet. They're witnessing the biggest loss in Texas football history. Quarterback sweep again. Oh, look at this. Almost got to the touchdown. Well, they were hoping for just a couple of yards, but the quarterback was still on his feet when he got past the defensive line. Nice looking run by the quarterback. Look at that. Troy Smith touchdown. Ohio State runs it in. Well, at this point, these guys are just out there padding stats and running up the score. Sometimes you play in a game and you can't do anything wrong. You find yourself in a rhythm or a zone. This whole team seems like they've been in a rhythm since we kicked this game off. Oh, what happened to quarterback sweep? Do I not have it anymore? Thought I had quarterback sweep. Now well, let's do sweep strong. And the fans have quieted down. They go with the Going with Lydell Ross and obviously could not get the two points. Now you can start to question the class of the coach here. There was absolutely no reason at all to go for two there. And it's simply trying to run up the score. I'm glad the defense was able to stop that. Man, Kirk is still angry for me trying to run up the score. I wonder how many times he's done that. He says there's no way that they should be going for two. Well, I want to run up the score because, you know, Buckeyes, we're number one. So, Texas actually did something successful. They actually got second place for the most points scored. They're now the second most points scored in this game. And up, it looks like Mac Brown took out Vince Young and put in the second string quarterback. And the second string quarterback just got destroyed by AJ Hawk. Let me say one thing. This defense is good. I mean, real good. They sure are, coach. They're blitzing, they're stunning, they're confusing this quarterback to death. He drops back. Here they come. And the quarterback throws a deep tip incomplete. Incomplete pass. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Congratulations. And the players of the game are Texas's cornerback and San Antonio Holmes. Which obviously means San Antonio Holmes is the Orange Bowl MVP. And an interception by Nate Saley is going to do it. I gotta find that quarterback sweep. Oh, there it is. It was in strong. 
Okay, we're just gonna go quarterback sweep the rest of the way. See a quarterback sneak for that kind of yardage very often, but it'll move the sticks. Man, you could have drove a truck to there. Great push by the offensive line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Now we're gonna flip the play. Oh, go the other way. And they make the stop. They try the old draw play and get maybe three yards. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. And they push him out. He gets the snap, plows ahead, and picks up three. Trying to embarrass this defense, they'll go no huddle. And the fans have quieted down. Oh, crap. This is not going to go well. Not going to go well. And he's going to lose yards. Oh, well. He lost yardage on that sneak. Yeah, you're right. The offensive line got blown off the ball. You know what? Might as well go for a field goal. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Good job by this defense. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. This is a good way to end the game. Mike Newton's final ever field goal as an Ohio State Buckeye. The kick is up. And it's good. What a good way to send out Mike Nugent in his final year as an Ohio State Buckeye, kicking the last field goal. And now we're just going to do a weird squib kick. And he touched it, so that's inbounds. This will be the final play. And there it goes. That's it! Ohio State wins the national championship 77-13. And we are the 2004 national champions. Perfect season, 12 and 0. I don't think there's any doubt as to who will be number. Yeah, buddy. A clear-cut national champion here, guys. What a year it's been, my friends. There were a lot of teams at the beginning of the year. And there they go, carrying the trophy away back to Columbus as the national champions of college football. And everybody that supported them throughout the year, I say congratulations and enjoy everything. You are the national champs, sweethearts. We win it 77 to 13. A 64 point victory over Texas. And a large freaking blowout in a national championship game. Like, look at that. That is beautiful. That's kind of payback for what they did to us in the Fiesta Bowl. Almost beating us by one point. Well, technically by two points. Or, well, technically almost beating us, but we won by two points. Eh, pretty good. Individual stats. Troy Smith, the best QB, 15 for 30. 490 yards, 6 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Pretty good. And then rushing, obviously, Troy Smith did the best in rushing. And our Heisman Trophy winner, San Antonio Holmes, 386 yards, 6 touchdowns, 12 receptions. And then look at that box score. Basically, we calmed it down a little with the box score. So, yeah. End the game. We are 12-0, undefeated overall. Ain't no the Big Ten national champs, Big Ten champs as well. And Texas goes to 12 and 1 overall and 9 and 0 in the Big 12 as the Big 12 champion. And I win. I win. I'm a winner. I'm number 1. And that's my 50th win across all the NCAA football games I have played for you guys. So I'm now 50 and 1 with the one loss coming from Florida in the NCAA Football 2002 Let's Play in the National Championship in the Rose Bowl. And look at that. I got the ADT National Championship Trophy. It's going to go look really great on my, you know, trophy case. And I unlocked all-time LSU. I'm now level 4 EA Sports Gamer. Cool. And Texas drops down to 4th. No. No. 
All right, let's check out the rest of the bowl games that we missed here. Missouri wins the Holiday Bowl. Penn State lost to Arkansas in the Music City Bowl. Northwestern lost to Washington State in the Sun Bowl. Wow. Making the Big Ten look like chumps. Really, Michigan? You lost to Georgia in the Outback Bowl after I destroyed you? That is embarrassing. Seriously. Minnesota won the Capital One Bowl. Good for them. Uh, USC won the Rose Bowl, as expected. Oklahoma lost to Miami in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. And West Virginia beat LSU in the Sugar Bowl as the SEC representative. Wow. LSU kept it close. What a year. Ohio State celebrates a dream season after beating Texas 77-13. And let's look at the final top 25 polls, and a no shoot. Ohio State is the unanimous coaches poll national champion. Miami is second, West Virginia third, Texas is fourth, Oklahoma fifth, Missouri sixth, Florida State seventh, USC eighth, Purdue is ninth, and Georgia finishes the top ten. And man, after losing back-to-back -back games to Ohio State and Georgia, Michigan finishes 21st. Ouch. And Pittsburgh is the last place team in the coaches' ball at 25. So good for good for Pittsburgh. And we are the unanimous AP poll champions. Obviously, after that big win against Texas. The A people is showing us some respect. Put some respect on our name. And wow, Michigan really they're still in they they were 19th. Wow. South Carolina is in the A people, good for them. And Boston College is in the A people now. Good for them. And obviously we got the Heisman winner, San Antonio Holmes. Epic. Oh yeah, Players of the Week. National Player of the Week for Bowl Week was San Antonio Holmes. And the Defensive Player of the Week was some guy from Temple. But don't worry, Temple gets expelled from the Beast after this season, so we're good. And Big Ten Offensive and Defensive Player of the Week for Bowl Week was San Antonio Holmes and A.J. Hawk. Awesome. And that was for the last week of Bowl Week. And then you got the other weeks. Yeah, Troy Smith. Yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, and then we got the final standings for all the conferences. Wait, where's the Big Ten? There it is. And there we are. Big Ten champs and national champs. Minnesota finished second. Shocking. Michigan finished third. Purdue fourth. Northwestern fifth. And in India, they didn't finish last. Wow. But Illinois finished last. Shocking. Well, guys. I think the only last thing we need to do is check out our trophy room. Here's the Orange Bowl. Whoops. Here's the Orange Bowl trophy. And then our National Championship trophy. That is beautiful. Look at all these awards I won. Well, help the players win. Might as well save. And with that, guys, that is the end of this LP. This is the end of NCAA Football 2005. So with that, guys, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And actually, before we go, I want to take a look at the team schedule. No, I don't want to play Tech. I want, I don't, I want Ohio State, not Texas. And let's just look at all the teams we played. So yeah. This was a pretty fun let's play. And uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty amazing.
We have scored over 50 points or more. And that's pretty impressive. Every single game, 50 plus points or more. And the highest amount we have given up was 21. Shocking. So with that, guys, again, I'd like to thank you all for watching it in CW Football 2005. If you enjoyed this last episode, smack a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. Also, if you're just starting with this um, national championship game, uh, we ha I have a playlist in my playlist section where you can watch the first game, which was against Cincinnati, and then just work your way down on, you know, me destroying every other team that was in my path and help me go on to win the national championship. So, yeah. Again, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next LP, which is probably sometime later in June, or maybe sometime... Well, it's sometime. Probably in sometime in June, so yeah. But again, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So with that, I'll see you guys later.